What is going on guys? Today we're looking at Yaya Toure, 90 rated fantasy hero. He is double upgrade from his triple threat and to be honest, I'm kind of annoyed at the double playstyle plus. I like the bruiser, I think that could have some element for him. Obviously the strength performing physical tackles is going to be decent. Press proven, I just feel like they could have gone better for him and to be honest it probably would have made him a little bit more overpowered. Naturally, he's not going to be Man City with company and also Tevez there. So he is actually for Barcelona. So from today, any Barcelona games in the domestic league for the next four games will be contributing to his upgrade. So hopefully they can get two wins at the minimum to make him a 91. If they can somehow get the courage to score 11 goals, then we get a 92 Yaya Toure, which would be phenomenal. He's currently coming in at 5.6 million, which is just absolutely nuts. And yet, I just don't get Schneider 6.7. Like, that's crazy. There is some big prices being thrown around. His triple threat is still one and a half, so I kind of expect him to be at the minimum four million. So it will be interesting to see where he does drop, but he puts himself into a top category. People are saying shadow, obviously, for him, which is going to be the best one. It's going to keep him controlled lengthy, 91 pace, 92 on the defending, and it will turn him into either a 93 CDM, 92 centimeter, or 91 cam. Now, in terms of him, for, for me, he's very similar to Ramirez with obviously a lot of defensive attributes. He's kind of in that DM, CM sort of role. He has got better shooting and passing. Definitely a lot less on the pace, which is still fine with the shadow added on. And obviously the physicality doesn't need to go anymore either. So I am very, very interested to see if Yaya can pull it out of the bag again. He can play in all three attacking midfielder and also defensive midfielder positions. Let's see if he's worth over 5 million coins. If your team's looking like this, then I have the place for you. Head over to U7 Buy for all your coin needs. They're cheap, fast, and reliable. But make sure to use JT11 at the checkout for 6% off all of your coin orders. The real question will be is, is Hullet, Vieira, Matthias, uh, any of them big boys, are they worth it more so than our man Yaya here? I feel like Yaya, even though he is kind of contracted to be a CDM, he is very, very forward focused oh referee i was going for the goal but she has already got herself a yellow card yaya has got to obviously step up for this he is actually on the penalties as well 94 88 90 90 very nice indeed we're gonna go bottom right beautiful i was thinking left in my head doesn't matter yaya Torre bags in the first minute good tackle back wins the ball nicely Good step. He's got a great acceleration. That's the one thing I've always loved from Yaya. His acceleration on that first step just gets him away easily. The second step, and as he kind of keeps going forward, is less and less, most definitely. And that's where I think other midfielders might have a bit more of a shout compared to him. But definitely that first one is phenomenal. I kind of wish we had like a long ball pass or something like that. That could have worked really well for him as well. I just, I don't know. I feel like some of the double play style pluses, they're okay. Oh, good challenge. They're okay, but I mean, they're not exactly what we wanted. I think anything passing orientated, the bruiser works because the physicality bonus is going to be where it's at for him. But I would have liked some sort of defensive one, like a little bit more on the defensive. Maybe even a cheeky intercept. Are we going to be able to turn? Nice. That could have worked really well. Obviously, he's going to have that step, luckily, to get around Hullet there. Can we get a little step on him? Nice. And see this first one. He's just, he's very quick on that movement. Like, this pace is just towering above everybody. Can we go for it? Oh, what on earth was that shot? Oh, free kick? No. good strength i do find it hard to justify the price a little bit because obviously five million is most definitely not a little bit of change like it's a decent i get the left foot on that nearly it's it's a lot of coins and and to be honest i don't feel like there's many people like let me know in the comments do you have you bought anybody for over three million coins actually paid for them as well not not packed i've got to make the challenge that's going to be a red isn't it 
Oh, got away with the yellow. But have you actually bought anybody for free mil, or are they just pack pulled? Because I know my answer. I have. I don't think I've even bought a player in my team at the moment. It is literally all pack pulled. So when it comes to saying is Yaya Turi worth the coins, I feel like it's kind of irrelevant because literally nobody buys them with coins anymore. Is he gonna? He's gonna outdo Virgil. Little step. Can we slot it? Yaya Torre. He's just. He's. He's brilliant. It's. It's exactly what we remember of him. He's got a little bit of left stick on him. I mean, it's not. It's not crazy, but passing wise, oh, he's found that. Hit that spot. Hit it. Oh, I wanted it a little bit more indented there, and he might have been able to get past Maldini. I feel like having like a partnership of a Yaya Torre and a Hullet would just be broken. I think you could do it with any of them. Yaya Vieira, Yaya Matthias. They are end game beyond belief. Like especially if he even gets an upgrade. I feel like Barca should be able to get a double. Like surely they can get two wins out of four. I, again, I don't know their next matches, so we might have to have a look at that to see what are their chances, what are their form. Again, let me know in the comments if, if you're a Barca fan. Oh, that's going to be a shot. Are they likely to do it? If so, 91 Yaya is definitely worth everything. He's already at a top level. But the question is, could they get the double? That's where a hero especially goes from being worth it to pretty much worth it. And it's most definitely not going to be easy. That is the whole point of it. To get the double upgrade is very difficult. You know what I would have liked? A power shot. The amount of times that Yaya's always got himself on the edge of that box... Press proven. Uh, nice. Get the body. Get the body. Oh, he should have got the, the physical aspect on him. But the amount of times that he gets himself on that edge, that could have been a really good trait to have. I think we've seen it on another kind of big midfielder. I don't know. Did I don't think Vieira got it. How on earth is he letting that go through him? Get the pass off. Or a long ball pass. I felt like the long ball pass could have been a good one for him. It will be interesting as well to see, are we going to get triples at team of the season? Is is that is that the play? There's a big ball. Oh, yeah, yeah. Touch. Little little one. Oh, it's beautiful. Ah, I was looking for the other side of the goal, but great play. I've moved that really far out. I saw the keeper going. Or even an aerial battle. That, that could have been broken as well for him. I think there's plenty you could have kind of fantasized about. I was going to say, he's he's going for the uh, directional pass, but who's he actually passing to? To himself. Nice. Little one-two. Push him up the field. Uh, okay, we'll get, the, we'll get the pass. We'll get the pass. That's fine. He's here. He's here. One more. Lovely. This is this is where he's just... He's, 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 he's in his element. That is exactly where you want him. Just being able to kind of peruse around the box a little bit. Oh, Seidorf. That is is the prime Yaya Torre moments. He's got great defensive ability. Passing-wise, he can hold the ball up nicely. That is a phenomenal through ball. it has gone for the Traveller as well. Oh, he's missed it. Can we bring it back? Ooh, he's gone the right way. Keep going. Keep going. And then find the speed. Find the speed. Find the speed. All the way. Like, such a big unit. Just absolutely blistering through. Pass. <laughs> he, he knew it from the get-go where I was going. Well, that one has Crucial piece of defending. Good tackle. Oh, can't get it back. Ramirez, there he is. Gets the pass. Little one-two. Nice. Steps it back and misses. Little step on the inside. He gets very, very lucky. And this guy's midfield. It's just... And th this would be the problem. When you've got something like an overloaded midfield, he's not as dainty as someone like a Matthias in that midfield. So it's going to be hard. He, he strives off big, long steps, being able to really drive with the ball forward. When you've got two, three, four defenders and midfielders next to you, 
he's not going to have enough space and that's where you've kind of got to get a bit more tactical with him. He's not necessarily just going to be able to run how we saw in that first game where literally he was given yards. Like this, that's his perfect position here. Where Hullet's driving, that's where he's going to feel most comfortable going forward. And then otherwise it's going to be more on that defense, if anything. Can we get the ball back? Little fake. Finds the nearest hoping he'd move. Oh, that's a through ball if I've ever seen one. Why is Van der Sar so good in this game? Oh, finds a forward. I'd get the bad touch on that first one, but that's a great through ball to start with. Good tackle. That's the one thing in terms of tackling. He's absolutely monstrous at it. Good challenge. Puts himself in there. <laughs> so going into the Yaya's overall then. Coming in at 5.4. How many people are bought in? Well, okay, we've got a few purchases. So we're at 6.1, 5.4. It's it's pretty reasonable. To be honest, I like I say, I don't I don't even think what we're we looking at here. Oh, okay, that's just the down. I don't even think that it, it's really that bad of a price now because the amount of players that we've got, like I say, Schneider's 6.6. .6. We've got Ramirez extinct at 4.8. Lucio's 3.8. 3.8 as well. There's so many players that are just so priced up. Like we've got Mbappe, R9, and Virgil all are extinct at 15. We have literally almost a page of, of over 4 million. When does that, where does that actually go to? So the second page doesn't even drop down below two and a half. Do you know how crazy that is? That's like literally 63 players are above two and a half million in this game. If you've played this game for so long, you know that that normally doesn't happen. There's normally quite a lot of top end and normally a million, two million. And then you have your excess of like a prime Cruyff is like five. But there's never like a Griezmann chilling, a Ruben Diaz, a Tevez. I know Tevez is new, but you know what I mean. The, the, the aspect of it is now that midfielders, uh, strikers are all definitely in that top end budget, meaning you're only going to pack them. You're not really going to pay for them because I, I don't know how, if I had to pick two of them, I don't know how I'm going to get 15 million coins to get a Vieira and a Putielis or a, a Yaya Toure and a Hullet. Like that's... 10 and a half million. Like, that's absolutely crazy. So in terms of being an upgradable card, that is always going to be a big factor. When we look at Barcelona's fixtures, so obviously it's as of today. So we've got the next game is the Sunday 3rd of March against Athletic Club. Is that Bilbao? Pretty sure. Then you've got Mallorca. You've then got Champions League that doesn't count. You've got Atletico Madrid and Las Pol Palmas. Palmas? What are the tables saying? So they are third. So obviously Madrid's going to be one of them ones. They hopefully will have a two wins already. But then they've got 16th. They've got 8th. And also, who was the other one? We've got... Who did I say? Uh, I don't even know. Where... Well, hold on. Let me go back to the matches. So you've got Mallorca, Bilabao. Where are they? They are 5th. So whether they're getting the 11 goals... It's going to be a bit of a tight one. Again, fixtures-wise, if we're looking back in like their last four, three, three, one, three, four, two. So they, they've, they've had a couple of goals, but 11 is, like it should be, a difficult goal to get to. So I could see a 91 Yaya Torre. If they manage to beat one of the harder teams out of the four, then that should, it should put him in that 91 at a minimum. And I feel like a lot of heroes will get that. But again, there will be some surprising ones that won't as well. In terms of who I'd pair him up with, if you're going for a dominated midfield, I'd definitely be looking at Hullet or Vieira. Even if you just went for a normal Vieira, to be honest. In, same with the Hullet. I know they're still... I, I can never spell it right. If you um, look at the normal one, even then, that's still 1.7. Like, that's crazy. But if you've done a Hullet, say, because he did have an SBC at a minimum, which is nice. Obviously, that's 2.6. It has gone now. If you're looking at the base form, still 2.7. Jeez, it's just, I, I don't get how I should tell you what to get better because I'm literally just going to have to give you like a 500k budget. Like in terms of a midfielder, if I'm looking at maybe like a cheaper midfielder, Rice is even extinct as well. Of course he is. Um, if we're looking, where was a good midfielder? 
trying to think which I've not icon. Oh, to be fair, icons. Gattuso wasn't awful, but I mean, he, he wasn't great. Especially if you're looking like I would, if I had Yaya in the team, I would be looking for more of an attacking mid next to him, like like a Palmer, like a Zidane, a Zico, an Emery, somebody to really push it forward with maybe a bit more agility and kind of lay it off that little bit more. Obviously, for a review, you've got to put him in focus. I can't just review him and, and be using somebody else and just passing it away. You've got to see how he is on the card. And he's decent. Once you get him going, he's absolutely brilliant at going forward. And that is purely down to the control lengthy. That is how it works. Especially with a shadow, 91 pace, 92 defending. It's a very, very good card. And it will come at a heavy, heavy cost. He's easily 10 out of 10. I think the only thing that can really make him now is different play style pluses a 5-5 five, five if you go and really nitpicking with it and then just boosted stats even more. Everything is perfect on him and I cannot wait to see the next upgrade. Peace.